Welcome back to Korea Mode. This is episode 7, I believe. This is the Austrian Grand Prix, and two races in a row. We get two favorite tracks of mine. Austria has not been on the calendar for some time, and I'm not sure why they took it away, because it is a really enjoyable track. But um, what I'm hoping is I don't have my little curse that I discovered, which is... As I will put my curse, is any track I like, I don't do well in, and any track I hate, I do really bad in. Any tracks I think that are average, I do better than I should do in them, Monte Carlo. But anyway, here we are in Austria, Q2, as per usual. It's not exactly shocking that we don't make it that we don't make it into Q3 now. But Q2 is our sort of ground. And of course this is our best lap from qualifying. As you can see, we are beating Magnussen in the first and second sector. But this third sector is just I cannot set up the Toro Rosso in such a way that it can do well around this third sector. The AI just to just destroy me out of here, whether it's around that turn around this turn or just getting on the power or just the straight itself I just do not have the power and as you can see Austria is a short track because that's our fastest lap qualifying a 113.0 and as you can see we lost 7 tenths to Magnussen in that last sector and this, there's the results of qualifying we're in 14th Rosberg was down in 10th there as I just saw just about making it into Q3 I don't know what was up with Rosberg that was odd, but anyway, as you can see, not exactly happy right now. We've, we've really not been on a good roll since Canada. We didn't get a good performance in that race. We knocked someone off the track, and now we are finishing below standards in qualifying for Austria. Let's hope the race is better than this. After, after the problems that arose at Canada, I just want a decent enough finish. Now, I just want points, to be fair. But anyway, we're going to take a look at the standings right now. It's Hamilton from Rosberg, Ricardo, Alonso, Vettel, Massa, Hulkenberg, Bottas, Roygenen, Button, Magnussen, Perez, Grosjean, Softchi, Sutil, Vern, Maldonado, Gutierrez, Bianchi, Kobayashi, Chilton, and Ericsson. Ericsson back where he belongs in last place, unlike Canada where somehow he got like 18th or something. But anyway, we're warming up for the grid, starting from 14th on the grid. Um... I'm looking for a hopefully good start. I'm not expecting to be, you know, in fourth place after the first lap because the AI on this track, oh boy, they are not a bundle of fun. So I'm hoping to be in, like, top 10-ish. I don't know. I don't really like to set a challenge. I don't really like to set a specific thing. That I just want a good start and be able to get into the point scoring positions. Anyway, here we go. Five lights. Lights are out and away we go here in Austria. We are sat there for a while then and we got off to a usual start in this Toro Rosso. A pretty bad start coming out of the first turn. The AI breaking really early. We're able to go past three cars, taking 11th side by side now with Raikkonen. I'm, I, can't, I think Raikkonen qualified 8th. He hasn't got off to a good start. But as you can see, look at this straight. Just the top 10 are just driving away from us. This Toro Rosso is just so bad. As you can see, they break so early, we're able to go up a few of them up the inside of Button, sort of squeezing him out, and now we're able to drive off. And speaking of driving off, Bottas is just gone. Look, he's just driven away. And uh, it looks like I've got no chance of catching him right now. But anyway, onto the brakes, into this right, into this hairpin like corner. As you can see, Bottas went really slow heading into it. We're now side by side without Williams. Heading into this turn, Bottas puts the brakes on really early. We're able to go past and take 8th place. Good start there. Six positions in one lap. That's how I like it. I mean, it's a bit unrealistic, but it's what I have to live with. As you can see, we're trying to chase down... Well, we're not really trying to chase down Hulkenberg. We're trying to stay away from Bottas and watch as Hulkenberg drives off in that Force India. Force India, while I'm here, I might as well say, is a car I really do like. And I wouldn't mind racing in it next season or the Williams behind me. The car will do me. Anyway, as you can see, we come up for our first lap in 8th position, and now we're cutting all oh boy to lap 4. We're still in 8th, we're battling with Raikkonen. Well, we are battling with Raikkonen. There he goes, DRS, down my inside. Due to my wide line, he was able to just whiz past Bottas, got on the brakes really early. I tried braking later than I should have to catch Raikkonen, but that just didn't pay good on the... And the um, exit of the corner, but anyway, it's time for lap 10. It's time for our pit stop. We're in second place because we were like, I think we're, at this point we were the only car on the grid to not make a pit stop. And my team's idea was that I think some people like the tire degradation on this track isn't, it's actually quite bad. 
so they had the idea of putting me out on the hard tires first and then putting on these soft tires so then I could catch time up the idea that I had in mind didn't work out well as you can see we're coming out in 12th are we gonna be able to overtake anyone no it's 12th position so our only other hope is that people in front of us have to pit again and thankfully that's just what happened lap 13 going on to lap 14 in front of us right now I believe is I think it's Grosjean who just pitted for his second pit stop and as you can see we're up to 11th place we need one more position it was Grosjean we need one more position to get to the points and it's Valtteri Bottas who's ahead of us I think Bottas has gone into the pits now at the end of lap 14 and we've done it 10th place we are back in a point scoring position at least we can overcome that it is May that kind of panned out there. As we can see, Ricardo won this race, a win for Red Bull. Glad to say it's not Hamilton or Rosberg. And Grosjean never gained on us. He was just always there. And as you can see, fuel's low. The tires are pretty worn out. And we are going to come home for another points playing points thing. Tenth place. It's better than... 12th, which it looked like we were going to get for some time, thankfully, due to the idea for my team. I will give my team that good idea there on deciding to have me out later so that I could finish in a point scoring position, but it could have been higher had the car been good at all for this race because, well, let's be honest, it's just not. I, I, I really don't like this Toro Rosso. I. I really want the season to end so I can just move on from this team to another team. And like I said, you know, maybe the Williams or the Force India is like a good team for me and I wouldn't mind moving there. But as you can see, Ricardo won from Alonso, Rosberg, Vettel, Hulkenberg, Raikkonen, Button, Magnussen, Perez, Softchies, Grosjean, Sutil, Massa, Verne, Gutierrez, Bottas, Kobayashi, Bianchi, Chilton, Ericsson, uh... Chilton, no, not Chilton, I don't know, the other guy, and I think the only retiree was Lewis Hamilton, again, that's two, ra I think that's two races in a row now, Hamilton, no, no, Hamilton retired, I think, at Catalonia, which you never saw, but this has been two retirees this season, Hamilton and his Mercedes, which is seriously affecting him in the championship, as we saw, though, we're still in eighth position, and I believe we are in sixth now in the constructors, I didn't exactly get a good check of that, I went by it a bit too fast, but anyway, another points finish, and that is good. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow, technically, because, yeah, this is Friday. I will see you tomorrow for my home Grand Prix Silverstone. Take care, guys, and ta I suppose.